everyone, happy Friday. I wanted to hop on today and talk about prana. And so one of the things that we talk about sometimes in yoga class, or I don't know, you might hear out in the general yoga community as well, is that is to pause and just feel after, after a posture either between postures or maybe in Shavasana, like notice life energy circulating throughout your body. And I feel like once you understand what that feels like, it's, it's really simple and you can notice it in all different kinds of ways. But sometimes it's like, what am I supposed to be looking for, right? So prana is our vital life force. And the teaching from the yoga tradition is that prana rides in on our breath. So um, I think there's a common like misconception that prana is the breath, but it actually is the life energy that flows in as we breathe. So the cool thing about our yoga practice is, especially when we do a breath-centric yoga practice, is that as we breathe and link our movement with our breath, we're circulating life energy throughout our body. So super, super cool. So this is why we feel different at the end of our yoga class. Okay, so even if you're like a total beginner yogi and this is your first class, and I think this is what I really sensed when I was a new yogi, was that you just feel different. Your body feels different. Your mind feels different. There's just a difference, okay? by the end of your practice. So I just wanted to give you some ideas of what to actually look for so that you can really sense that life energy circulating throughout your body. So just as an example, and I'll just kind of demo this really quick, but let's say that we're doing a nice big warrior one and we're doing some juicy arm wraps on exhale and spreading our shoulders and then inhaling and lifting our chest, taking our arms wide. We're doing that a bunch of times and just getting some really good movement into that upper back, which can be a little bit mobile. I'm just gonna do a quick counter pose here. So our upper, or sorry, our upper backs can be a little bit more, a little bit less mobile than other parts of our spine. So one of the places where I, I really started to first sense it was when I did um, a lot of big upper back adaptations. And, and mobilizing in my upper back and shoulders. So that's just the example I wanted to give. So let's say we just did that posture together. We did a bunch of repetitions, a bunch of arm wraps, um, a bunch of mobilizing in the upper back and shoulders. And then you pause after your posture and just take a couple of breaths and relax your shoulders down. And some things that you might feel in your upper back is a little bit of warmth, a little bit of circulation, almost maybe a vibratory quality, so that you sense, if, 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 especially if you feel that there's a dullness in that particular spot, and then it just feels a little bit more vibrant. It literally feels like there's life energy there. Um, it feels like circulation. So this goes for all postures, all different kinds of movements, but that's just a specific example, one that I have really noticed in my own self. So those are some of the buzzwords that you're like sensing for. And here's the thing is we have to be a little bit quiet to, um, to, to sense this. It's more subtle. It's not like, you know, when you clap your hands and you can feel that against your, against your hand. It's not quite like that. It's more subtle. So you, you do have to pause and just breathe for a moment and actually be still. And this I think is something that's, that's hard for us as well as pausing and being still. I know that really used to be hard for me and sometimes still is we want to adjust our shirt and fix our hair and all this stuff. But if you can pause after a posture or even just at the end of your practice or before you transition to the next thing, pause and be still, take a couple breaths, maybe even close your eyes and tune in and then you'll be able to sense some of that life energy that you actually created through that posture that you just did or that little sequence that you just did. So the other place to look for this is in Shavasana. And so after we've hopefully done a really well-rounded practice and circulated a lot of prana, by the time we get to Shavasana, hopefully we feel a little bit more relaxed um, and, and still. And then as you become still, so Shavasana is the beautiful posture of not doing, right? It's when we get to actually just do nothing. We're not even doing any breathing, special breathing or anything there. So we're just laying and that's a good time to tune in as well. And again, little things that you're looking for is 
any sense of circulation in your limbs. Maybe you get a little tingly in the palms of your hands or the bottoms of your feet. Maybe it feels like there's a, a vibrant quality throughout your body rather than a dullness. Um, maybe you feel warm um, or, or specific parts of your body's above your body feels warm like if you've done you know a bunch of neck and shoulders maybe you just feel warm and relaxed there so these are some of the things to look for when we talk about um feeling life energy and sensing the life energy that you establish through your practice so again it's it's more subtle um and we have to be quiet and be a little bit still to be able to tune in but it's really cool to try throughout your practice and then definitely at the end of your practice so that you can notice the effects of what just happened. So I encourage you to try this. Um, again, we're looking for circulation, warmth, vibrant qualities. Um, what else did I say? Like any kind of tingling. So those are just some more, that's just like a group of words to get you thinking. It may feel, you may have a, a different quality that you sense and if you do I'd love to hear about it uh, I'd love to hear it um, so you can just leave a comment or something but those are just some things to get you to start to tune in and really sense that life energy that you create through your practice so I hope this is helpful and thank you so much for hopping on today and I will talk to you guys next time